Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today we are going to review the Camus Direct Drive Wheel and the GT1 Steering Wheel. Now you can see them all the way over here. I'm not going to unhook it and hold it in my arms and move it around and stuff. It, it, it is heavy. That base is pretty heavy. The wheel is pretty uh pretty solid. Now I will do this. I mean, I can take off the rim. So let me show you the rim on this thing. That there's the quick release for the Camus wheel. Um, as you can see, this thing is, is a little bit bigger, definitely bigger. All of these knobs right here, they, they move. You've got toggle switches. Uh, this is just a, this one here is a momentary. And then this one here is a, um, an actual on off on off um, all of these buttons right here that you can program for each individual game now let me and then if you look at the front of the base you're gonna have two more you're gonna have two more toggles you're gonna have on off and then momentary as well on the right side you get on the right side you get the momentary on the uh on the left side, it's the on off. You'll have two more knobs on the uh, left side, plus two buttons on the bottom, and then a total of three buttons and a power button on the right side. Now, <laughs> if you're playing a game like Assetto Corsa or um, Automobilista 2 or any of them other games, now you can set your, uh, your traction control and your ABS and your brake bias and stuff to these to these dials, and then you can just turn them up and turn them down. You can, you know, put your seat adjustment here to go up or, or front, forward or backwards on these momentary switches, or you can do, you know, these right here to like select, you know, stuff that you want to have on there. Now I'm I'm just I'm still kind of learning all that. So having this DD wheel has definitely been a Man, this has definitely been an interesting one, to tell you the truth. Now, I didn't expect to have so much customization, um, so much uh, customization you, to be able to customize a lot on this. Uh, now, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about when it comes to the customization. Let me just bring my camera down here a little bit, and I want to show you um, over here. Got to get back over here onto this screen. So these are the settings for the uh, for the Camus for the Camus DD. So you can set your steering wheel angle. You know you could do 270, 360, 540, 720, 900, 1080. But you can also go all the way up to 23 or 2520 if that's something that you want to do. <laughs> now there are some games like. Um, Project Cars 3, Automobilista, any of those games that are made on the Ryza engine, pretty much. Um, to get the steering wheel itself working, you're going to want to set it to 270. Um, actually, you could probably even go lower than that. You could probably go all the way down to 90 or whatever, but 270 worked just fine for me. So you'll get into the calibration thing to like set to set the wheel, and then you have to move it to one side to set the, that side, and then move it to the other side. Well, if you've got it set to the standard 900 that it comes with well, as you're moving it it'll keep telling you oh no you too many there was too many um too many movements so it didn't set it so i was getting a little bit frustrated with that and so then i uh i uh i was sitting here in the main the main thing and i was like man i really wish i could get it to work for like project cars and automobilista i really want to play those games and so then I, uh, I happened to just, you know, look in here because I was going to play with the power. And I noticed, you know, I looked at the steering wheel thing and I was like, wait, wait, what if I try this? And I, and I selected that and I jumped in there and it worked. It worked perfectly. I was like, yes, I finally get to drive them. So then after you get in there and you set it all, then get back out of the game, come over here, reset that to 900. And then, and then that, because 900 has been pretty good for all of them. I use the 900 degrees for a set of course in competition. So I just set it on there. And then once you get back into here, 
you'll set it at the 900 and then you'll go back into your auto model list of two or your um, uh, project cars three and then after it's set back to 900 then you just uh, then you just calibrate your wheel and then it'll give you the uh, the right steering angles and stuff uh, the games that work really good, like literally right out of the box for this thing, was a Settle Corsa competent or a Settle Corsa, a Settle Corsa Competizione. Really quick setup, really easy to get into those. Um, you do have to do a lot of manual work to get this wheel up and going. Then you get down into like Dirt Rally 2.0. Dirt Rally 2.0 works tremendously well. There's some things that I'm still trying to figure out with that to to get like um, like menu navigation and stuff set up on the wheel. It's not letting me do that, but everything else works just fine. Uh, works great, seat sliders, everything like that. You can definitely get all that. So they also have a list of unavailable games that you cannot play with this. Um, American Trucker, you know, Dirt 4, any of this stuff. Um, I haven't tried Forza Horizon 5, but I did try Forza 7 and sadly it did not work. Um, I would set the steering wheel up and it would instantly go into like the, the, the thing would just start rumbling so fast. And I was like, okay, so, so I had to stop that. I got out of the game, got back in, tried to set it up again. It still didn't work. So I will keep playing with that because Forza, um, Forza Motorsports coming out this year and I'm going to want that to work with that because I have pretty much decided to go exclusively to using that canvas. Once I started playing with that, and we'll get to that later in the review, there's no way I could go back to that th that Thrustmaster TX. There's just no way for that to be feasible for me anymore. So pretty much all my racing, all my racing on all my racing on the wheel setup in the sim set, it, it's gonna be all PC from, from here forward. Now I will still cover the um the Xbox you know, games and stuff, but I will just, I'll just use a pad for those. It's not that big of a deal. I did it for 30 years. I'm just not going to be that big of a deal to do that. I mean, these newer controllers are so, so much better for, for using those. So that, that is a good thing, but, um, it says that grid legends isn't working. I haven't, I haven't, um, tried that one just yet. Uh, that is something I'm going to try today. I believe I still have it downloaded um wrc 10 it says wrc 10 doesn't work but i effectively got it set up with wrc generations and it works perfectly it works great it's the best wrc experience that i've ever had like it feels it feels great now like it feels incredible i i love i love the way that feels i haven't tried i racing i don't think i'll be buying i racing and uh r factor 2 i i know that i probably should get those but i think i'm gonna stick with the ones that i got right now you know like these ones right here and then as the newer games come out i will definitely start testing every single one of those and start playing around with those because and i'm a big racing fan um with the camus wheelbase right here as you can see uh this these these wheels here do have um, at least mine came with the quick release. So when, when you got the GT one, this is the GT one wheel, like I was showing you earlier, the GT one wheel. And then you've also got the, uh, the GTS wheel that, that is, uh, I, I kind of want this one here and I want to try it. Now I was looking around at their pricing there. I'll have a link in the description for all of this. I was looking around at their pricing and for like the for like the quick release, it was like 40, 40, 50 bucks or something. I mean, like the parts on this are pretty, like they're, they're pretty, um, I would say they're, <clears throat> they're fairly comparable in price to, to like other things, you know, maybe even a little bit cheaper. They got a big sell going on. If you use the link in the description with my, with my thing, then you'll get an extra added 5% off of that. Now the wheel, the base itself goes for $4.99. 499 bucks man for 15 newton meters of power and as you can see over here in the parameters thing i have mine i have mine set to 50 percent 50 percent and it already feels 100 times better than that than than the than the belt drive than the belt driven um thrustmaster tx now for the tx you can get the whole package pedals um leather steering wheel and the base for five hundred dollars for four hundred and ninety nine dollars four hundred and ninety nine dollars you can get that or you can spend 
um, you're, you're going to have to get pedals for, for your, um, for, for your, for your GT base, unless you go with the, it's like nine, it's almost 900 bucks to get the full base. But, uh, with mine, I'm still using my pedals. So I had to buy, uh, let me, let me bring this, this camera up just for a second. So I can show you this. Now I had to, uh, come on, man, quit follow freaking out on me. Okay, so I had to buy this. It's the T dot R RJ12 USB adapter because the Thrustmaster uh, pedals have a proprietary. It's like a it's like a phone jack cord. Well, you have to, and it's and the the thing is offset to the side, so it will not fit in the camera's base, which really sucks. That really does suck. But I bought the little adapter, and it works just perfectly. I and and it comes with a and it comes with a software. You have to download the software to actually set it up. Because believe it or not, man, those Thrustmaster pedals that I was like, man, these are great. They're 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 so all over the place, man. That you have to like get in there and like actually set up all the dead zones and everything so they work right. Because I I right when I plugged in, I tried to race. And, and literally I, my brakes were already freaking applied and I was like, what the heck is going on? And I'm trying to like power through that with the throttle and it just wasn't working. So you have to download the software. You have to set all that up. So, but they are compatible with all the, uh, all the other pedals. You can get Fanatec pedals. You can get whatever other pedals that you want and work with that. They do have their own set, um, that they did not send me. They did not send me the pedals. They only sent me the wheelbase and, and the GT one which is fine. You know, I, I, it was 26 bucks for, for the adapter. I got it the next day. So that wasn't a big deal. So let me go back into these settings thing. Cause I want to talk more about these settings. I want to talk some more about these like this. <clears throat> so you've got base settings. Uh, you, you can set all of this up. Now, most of this right here, like the effects ratio, the natural damper, natural friction, uh, natural inertia and then natural inertia all of this stuff here was basically set that's 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 what it was set at when i when i first started playing around with it because let's face it this is the, my first experience with a direct drive wheel so i wasn't trying to play with anything everything right here is pretty much set to where it was the power was set at 50 percent. now i have adjusted the power i have played with that i've set it all the way up to to max and then used in game to to set it up and uh, yeah, there is a major difference and you've got such a wide range of gamut of powered, but man, just 50%, like I was saying, is already a hundred times better than what I was filling on that, on that other wheel rim. I don't necessarily think I need more than that. So to be completely honest with you and 50% power, that's, that's like right around probably, you know, it's got 15 Newton meters of, of power. So like 50%, that's, that's right around the, uh eight to seven to eight newton meters of power range that everybody else is like yeah man these wheels are great and stuff and i'm like okay whatever you know but let me be let me be 100 percent honest with you let me be 100 percent honest with you had i i i don't think i i was gonna be upgrading my wheel setup for a while like i, I wasn't like i and i, and I definitely you know i, I would have kept using the tx until that thing stopped working before i upgraded it now i was thinking about you know, getting, getting something, you know, like a, like a Fanatec or something like that, like a Moza. I was, I was definitely thinking about it. I, was, I mean, the thought was crossing my mind and I was thinking like, man, should I do it? Should I do it? Honestly, knowing what I know right now, I do recommend direct drive over the uh, belt and pulley system. I, I do. I 100% recommend direct drive over the belt and pulley system. And that's just because of the fact, okay, I don't, I, this is like one thing that you'll have with the, with the belt driven thing. Like when you're, when you're steering and it doesn't matter what game it was for, for some reason, like when you're steering, like you always have that, that, that feel like you need to like correct yourself. You know, it's never just like one-to-one -one you know, I mean like one-to-one -one and like turning and stuff like that, whatever. Yeah. But there's always like this, this inherent dead zone issue where you're, where you're like, where you're trying to like stay, stay, stay stable or whatnot. And it, and it just, I don't know, man, I feel like that was slowing me down. I feel like that had a big, a, a lot to do. Like it, that did get situation, situation, situated a lot. Once I got the, uh, the, the FGT cockpit that definitely did help 
with with stability and i was i was able to fill the wheel better because it was i had a more stable platform to work from but going from that wheel to the direct drive wheel now you've got 100 percent like one to one like it feels one to one like it is and it's and it's so smooth it's like driving a real car like being on the freeway and you just kind of move a little bit and your car kind of just moves and and that's what it feels like that's that's the best way that i can explain how that feels it's just so it feels more natural now when you hit like a like say you hit a curb you know at the, at the corner of a tire or something you know like if you're driving a real car you're going to feel like the body wobble when, when you hit that well that is a feeling that you can feel with a direct drive wheel that is superior in every single way to that belt driven wheel. Like you can't feel that like you, you, you can, but you can't like, you know what I mean? Like you cannot feel, <coughs> you cannot feel the actual like weight transfer wobble. If, if you hit something, uh, when you're going around a turn, you can kind of feel like the the body roll in there. <clears throat> Sorry about the coffin. That's that's weird. But you can feel you, you can feel different sensations, and there's a better tactile feel to what you're doing as you're as you're playing with the direct drive wheel. Like I understand and get why all these other sim racers are like, yeah, man, you got to go direct drive. You got to go direct drive. Now I'll tell you right now that it will change the experience to a point to where you're like, whoa, man, this is, this is freaking incredible. Like it's, I have literally been blown away for the last two days. Like I've been blown away at just how amazing this direct drive experience really is. Now, if we, uh, now, now I want to talk about like pricing. I want to talk about pricing and stuff because I was looking at some of the, you know, the Moses and the Fanatex <clears throat> for a Fanatec, with the same 15 Newton meters, you're looking at 1500 bucks, 1500 bucks just for the base, just for the base. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, wait a minute, man, if that's $1,500 for that, it's got me thinking like, what's wrong with the camis? But then again, man, being me and knowing me, like I always tend to represent these, uh, like the underdog companies, you know, like Vizio, man, I got a Vizio TV and everybody's like, the LG is better. Well, Here's the thing. Here, here's here's exactly my thought process, and this is my thought process with the Vizio TV and everything else. It gets the job done, and it still has. I mean, like, what what am I missing from the LGs? What Adobe Vision and 120 FPS? Yeah, it sucks. It sucks, man. It really does suck because I would like to have that Adobe Vision at 120 FPS with my Xbox Series X, but then at the same time. The Dolby Vision kicks up a lot more, um, a lot more uh, input latency and stuff like that. So, so I don't necessarily know if that is that big of a deal. Now they're saying. Now, now I did watch. I did. I did listen to somebody else kind of talking about his experience because he's like a, he's he's got like Fanatec, and then he was testing out the Camus as well. Um, he was saying that you get a little bit better, like minute feelings on on some of these games and i'm like for freaking for like another thousand bucks man like i i don't know man i don't know how to i don't know how to to talk about that but i'll tell you right now i'll tell you right now man i do not feel like i have an inferior product with the camus dd i don't, I don't feel that way i i don't feel that way i feel like for the price range for the power and everything that you get with this camus direct drive wheel Wow. Wow. Um, and like I said, my biggest problem with this thing, my biggest problem with the, with the Camus is, is, is going to be support for it. That's probably the only thing that would really, uh, that would really be a big deal is the support for it. I mean, but here, here, but here we are, dude, we're also looking at older games like like dirt four, you're looking at some of these. Well, the Forza, that's a big one for me. That is a big one for me. You know, like grid legends, the, the, the fact that like some of this, some of this stuff doesn't work going forward. If, if what, what kind of a, that's, that's really the only thing that would, 
that would really give me pause for for like, okay, is it going to work? Because now you got Thrustmaster making DD wheels. You've got Fanatec that does DD wheels. You got Moza. You, those are the ones that are always going around the internet and like everybody's talking about. But there's more. There's definitely more. Uh, Logitech just put out a DD wheel. Well, all of those are like what five to eight newton meters of power. That that'll get the job done. I mean, as I can as as I've showed you, you know, I've I've been rocking this at about fifty, and that gets the job done. When I turn it up, it gets even better. It gets even better. So. That's the thing, man. You, you you're gonna stay stuck at fifty. I mean, I'm gonna stick at fifty for a little while, and then I'll then I'll go up and you know test more things out and see how that actually like pans out in the end. But as it sits right now, man, I don't know. I don't know. This this is weird, man. I don't like being in this type of position to where I don't I don't have the necessary. Uh, let me bring this back up. I don't like being in this situation where I don't have the necessary experience with any other direct drive wheels, but that might be perfect for, for both me and, and for Camus, because I'm not going to go out and spend money on another direct drive wheel. Now that I got that one, I'm not, I, I don't want to sit and change them out all the time and be like, yeah, I mean, this one feels a little bit better than this one. You know, it, it's just weird. And I do know, um, my experience, the only reason why I had, you know, any kind of, a um, a firm stance on the, uh, the, the belt driven wheels is because I started with a T one hundred and fifty. I started with a TMX and then I went to the TX and the, and the experience was a lot better. Not, not like, not like this big of a gap, but it was enough to be like, yeah, dude, you shouldn't, I don't think you should start with the lower quality wheels there, especially if you're going to like get used to this. I mean, like the TX you could mount and all of that stuff. It came with a better pedal set, stuff like, you know, things like that, that, that made it a better investment instead of paying half the money for, a, a far a, a, a less a less inferior uh a, a more inferior product when when you could just go with the one that, that works i would only i mean if you're going to be serious about getting into sim racing um yeah I, I definitely believe direct drive will is the one to go and i'll tell you what man this this camus this camus is such a such a good product for me I mean, it just, it, it fits. It goes back together nicely. All of it, like this does not feel cheap in any way. Like it doesn't feel cheap. It feels pretty premium. The buttons feel pretty good. They feel, I mean, they all light up when you push them. They feel, they feel good. Like they feel like it, it feels like a pretty decent experience, especially for the money. It's got me thinking like, no, oh, dude, this has got to be too good to be true. But... Look at how many other com look at look at the competition that's out there for Camus right now. They got a lot of competition, man. It's <laughs> this is definitely going to be an uphill battle for them to get to get out there. But they sent me the will, and I'll be using this thing exclusively. So all the content that I'll be making on it going forward is going to be on the Camus will, man. Like they're going to get pretty decent coverage from this channel alone. Um, just, just in terms of, and, and people will be able to come and when I figure things out and I learn new things about it, because I'm not one of them dudes that has like a Fanatec that, that, that like prefers like Fanatec or any of them other things, because I've never used one before. So I don't have that. So every time that I figure something out, I'll be making videos about it. I'll be, you know, updating people. I'll be like bugging Xbox and turn 10 and all of them guys to be like, yeah, man, I need this to work with freaking Forza. <laughs> I need this to work. So I think I think that uh, I think that the more people that adopt this, I mean, the, um, <laughs> I, f I feel like the adoption rate as soon as it, I mean, if it if it ever gets to a point where where uh, more people are using the Camus, then I, I'm, I'm sure we'll get better support. But being on PC, it also has that. Um, it also has like most games are going to have that like you know you just get in there with the generic wheel and then you can set everything up and I like that about it so that there has been pretty good I was able to get it going with uh, WRC Generations I am going to download WRC 10 back on there and I'm gonna I'm gonna set that up and see if that does work or not so I'll be testing all the racing games that I have with the uh, with the Commas DD and we'll we'll try to get as much information about this thing as we can you know I'll keep playing around with the settings I'll keep learning about them. But man, this is awesome, man. This is awesome. I get to I get to cover this for the next 
for the next, you know, until it breaks, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, if it stops working, you know, then obviously you'll know as soon as I know that I'll make a video about it. But as it sits right now, I've spent, um, I got, I've got over 10 freaking hours now just sitting there playing and I'm going to be playing some more today. I'll be playing, you know, tomorrow, stuff like that. Like I've completely neglected Harry Potter since I've got this just so I could sit here and test this and figure out if this is worth looking into for a lot of people. Now, as, as it sits, like I'm not the best, I'm not, I'm really not the best sim racer and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to say that I am, but I, I do feel like if you're on a budget, man, if you're on a budget and you just don't care about like the name brand stuff and you're okay with like, you're okay with things being a little bit finicky, you know what I mean? Like, Maybe, you know, I mean, as, as it keeps growing, it's, it's going to go through those growing pains. Yeah, dude, this, this might be for you. If you're somebody that, no, yeah, man, I got to have the best. I'm getting a 40, 90. Don't, don't even, uh, yeah, move along, man. Move along. Cause this right here is definitely uh, a solid, I, like I, I seriously, I have nothing to compare it against except for my old will. And this blows out away. So, I mean, what other opportunity i mean like not once have i sat here thinking oh man i wish i i wish i had a benetech I, I i haven't felt that way at all like i'm like wow this is actually pretty dang good i can't believe they sent this to me are they nuts like what were they thinking man like this is pretty freaking premium that's literally been my mindset the whole time i'm like wow this is this is pretty nice um but i'm not gonna just sit here and tell you oh yeah man don't for don't worry about any of that other stuff just buy this no dude like you got to make these decisions and i hope you would watch a lot of other people to to decide you know like i was saying the dude was like yeah you get a little bit more fun <laughs> really dude <laughs> really really i i would say i would say don't i mean any one of us can tell you like even i'm saying oh yeah you don't feel that and stuff like that but that's pretty much subjective honestly man you might feel something a little bit differently than they do and i feel like whoa man the the overload of sensory information that i've gotten from this camus wheel has been like whoa dude this is pretty freaking good so i'm like what the heck i know for a fact it blows my other one well out of the water easily like easily like it it doesn't even it doesn't even compare like the the force feedback and everything from that wheel doesn't even get close to this at 50%. I could probably put this on 10% and it'd stop, probably still be more powerful than what I was getting out of that. So it's like, it's like, wow, man. And, uh, with this being $400, well, yeah, about $400 more for the whole setup with the pedals and everything than, than that wheel right there. And to be able to set this on like 10, 10, like 10% power and still blow that away. Yeah, dude, I don't think that's a bad deal at all. I don't think that's a bad deal at all. And that, this rim, everything feels far more premium than, than that Thrustmaster one, man. And that's the, and that's a, that's a pretty decent wheel rim. I bought the, the, the GTE, the Ferrari GTE rim. And it, I mean, it was cool when I got it and stuff, but like, yeah, dude, that, that thing just doesn't compare. And that's, I'm sorry that I'm going so hard against Thrustmaster right now with, with those wheels, but man, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if, I mean, they, they definitely serve a purpose, but like my buddy, Holy Moly said, it's like, it's like a kid's toy. <laughs> it's, it's like a kid's toy compared to direct drive will. Like it really, like this here is like the adult. Um, this is like the adult setup that literally is like a kid toy, man. Hook that thing up to a play seat and put them in the, in the, in the living room and let them play, man. Like this, this right here is a, a different experience for real. And I want to give a shout out for, to next level racing, because this, this, uh, this FGT cockpit feels super stable with that on there still. Like it feels really good. Like it feels really good. So that's cool. I'll be doing like an updated video on the next level racing FGT as well with this. And I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm, I'm happy with this. If I would have spent my money on this, honestly, guys, I wouldn't feel bad about it at all. I'd be... I would literally still be blown away. And like I've been saying in the last couple of videos, uh, the amount of time and effort and hard work that I put into this channel, um, getting these kind of things like the, like the direct drive wheel or the, uh, or the, uh, the new cockpit stuff like that, you know, from the company so that I can, you know, display them on my channel and stuff. Uh, that does make, 
make things a lot more worth it, man. Because I do. I don't want to depend on you guys to on my community to try to support this channel. So it, it's cool that I get this kind of stuff. And I will never lie to you guys about a product ever. I will never lie to you. This Camus DD, honestly, <clears throat> I think I think it's I think it's definitely worth the money. In it in, in terms of features and all of that stuff, definitely worth the money. Uh longevity of the product warranty and stuff like i don't know man i don't know i don't know what their warranty is gonna be on on these products i don't know if you're gonna if you're gonna buy it and, and what the warranty is but i will look into that as i continue making content for this will um over the span of this channel i will find some of these things out for you i will find out if this thing is good i will put the time and effort into this i will i i will test it all the games that I can on it. I will find good settings. I will do my best to show you that this product is is pretty cool. Now I will in closing I will say um the the getting the getting the uh oh, what's it called this the software for this thing. Um not a lot of people have downloaded it so it, it was saying oh dude I don't know if you should be putting this on your PC and stuff and I don't know man that was a risk that I was willing to take. I was willing to take that risk to to try this out. Like I guess if I guess if they're spying on my stuff or whatever, it is what it is now. I don't know, don't know what else to do. But I mean, I'll find out if my credit card starts getting used weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? We'll find out, and then I'll uh, yeah, I won't be using it anymore. But I'll let you guys know on that too. Um, Camus DD, bro, this thing is a beast. This thing is a beast. I'll tell you right now, my shoulders hurt. Uh, it's been a workout, man. It has been a workout and I've been sitting there for so long and I just got done. I was playing a set of Corsa and I was just hitting some, some tracks on the Nord's life in the, in the C8R or, or the C7R. And I was like, Oh man, this thing just feels so incredible. I just, I want to tell everybody about this because come on, man, like they're reaching out to small channels like mine. You don't have to see any of the other bigger racing channels out there covering Miss Camus DD. And the fact that they would take a chance to send this to me, that just, that's, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. So yes, I do recommend this, this product at, at this point right now, I do recommend this product over any belt driven or gear driven wheel set up on the market right now. I definitely recommend this over any one of those. Uh, the price is right. It fits that price category. I mean, to get a TGT from Thrustmaster is like 900 bucks. So yeah, dude, I, I honestly recommend this over any of that stuff. But if you're on a console, yeah, if you're on a console, this is for PC only. So if you're on a console, I don't know about that, but definitely over any belt driven wheel for the PC. Yes, I definitely re recommend this. The pricing is, the pricing is great. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this content because it's because of you that I even get to review these cool products and, and bring you guys the information. And you know, you know that I will do my best to make sure you get the best information that I can get. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.